Hi everyone and welcome to Nico's Kitchen's What You Want. Today's recipe request comes in from the Facebook user Tom Godden and he has asked me to make one of my favourites, the sticky date pudding. Let's go. He's got budget meals Monday, what you want Wednesday, fast food Friday, what else could he share? It's Nico's Kitchen where satisfying meals are prepared. So the first thing we're going to do on our sticky date pudding is soak our dates. And what I've got here are some pitted dates. You can buy these in the dried fruit section of your supermarket. Make sure you get the pitted ones and occasionally you will get the odd pip in there. Make sure you just, I just cut them up in half just to make sure the pips are out because if you get one in there, they can really break your teeth. So please make sure they're all out. And now I'm gonna be adding in some bicarb soda or some baking soda, just a little bit. And now over the top, I'm gonna to add in some boiling water just from the kettle. And I want you to leave that in there for 20 minutes. So while our dates are soaking in that water and bicarb, we're now gonna get on to our batter mixture and just into a bowl here I've got some melted butter and to the melted butter I'm going to be adding in some brown sugar. I'm also going to be adding in some vanilla extract. Now you can use electric beaters for this if you want to I'm just going to do it using a hand whisk and I'm just going to mix this around until it becomes somewhat pale and nice and creamy. Should take about a minute. Now we're going to be adding in our egg and I'm just going to add in one at a time and then mix it through. Now, at this point, I'm gonna swap over my whisk for a spoon, and I'm now gonna be adding in our date mixture. Everything, including the water that we added as well. Just give that a little mix around. Now, we're gonna add in our flour. We're just gonna gently mix that through. So I'm gonna be making individual ones, but you can make one large sticky date pudding if you wanted to. It's up to you. You can make any size that you want. I've just got some ramekins here and I've just sprayed them with a little bit of cooking oil on a baking sheet. And now I'm just gonna add in our mixture. So these are now gonna go into a preheated oven at 180 degrees C or 350 Fahrenheit for about 30 to 40 minutes. You'll know when they're done. If you just pop a skewer straight in the middle and if it comes out clean, you know they're cooked. And now we're gonna make our butterscotch sauce to go over the top. And this for me just brings this whole dish together. So just over a low heat in a saucepan, I'm gonna be adding in some cream. Next, I'm gonna be adding in some butter. Next up, I'm also, of course, going to be getting in some brown sugar. And lastly, I've got some vanilla extract as well. And we just want to mix this through, get everything combined. Now I'm going to turn the heat up just to a medium heat. And I want to now bring this just almost to a boil. So you can see here, this is the stage where I'm going to turn it back down to a low heat. Just give that a little stir around and just leave it in there for another minute. So this is our gorgeous little sticky date pudding here. Now what I'm gonna do, get a fork and I just wanna puncture as many holes as I can without breaking it apart on the top because we're going to get that butterscotch sauce and just drizzle over the top and that will just ooze and seep into that pudding and that's what we want. And now guys, we're gonna get our sauce that we made and I'm just going to put it straight over the top of that bad boy. This is one of my favorite desserts ever. It is just gorgeous simplicity. I absolutely love this dish. Let's get stuck into it. All right, let's give this sticky date pudding a try, shall we? You know what? 
I said this on Monday that the steak sandwich that we made on Monday was in my top five. This sticky date pudding is in my top five also. It's my favorite dessert. Every time I go to a restaurant and I see it on the menu, bam, I order it because I just love it to death. This version is fantastic. I make it all the time. Everyone around here asks for it and loves it. Please make this one. You will not be disappointed with this recipe. It is just gorgeous. I absolutely love it.